please welcome Lori Olson from Californians Together, co-chair of the California English Learner Roadmap and strategic advisor for SEAL, Sobrato Early Academic Language Model. Good morning, Kabe, day three of the conference. And um, I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted from the pace and the intensity of these amazing workshops and thought-provoking speakers and the networking with old friends and making new friends and yes, the partying and staying up late. It's all part of this conference. But while I'm exhausted, I'm also so inspired and energized by being among all of you, 6,000 plus passionate, committed bilingual um, educators. And I want to talk to you about how we can harness that energy into a collective voice and collective um, force to see to it that our visionary, historic English Learner Roadmap actually gets implemented. Yesterday, we heard from um, the remarkable Jeff uh, Duncan Andrade about making a big pivot toward equity. And that's what the English Learner Roadmap uh, is. It turns us from that English-only, deficiency-oriented era into an era that is about really recognizing the cultures and the languages of our students as the assets they are for themselves and their learning and for our entire state. It's about turning us into the state that is committed not just to a few exceptional, wonderful dual language programs here and there, but to delivering for all of our English learners the kind of bilingual, powerful, um, intellectually rich education they deserve. The thing is, it's not so easy to make that kind of pivot. Yesterday we heard from Tom Adams and State Board of Education member um, Felisa ortiz Lucon about how important it is to see to it that we're implementing in our local schools and districts and communities the roadmap. And they talked about things like our revising our English learner master plans and creating local policies and, and fighting for culturally and linguistically um, responsive pedagogy. They talked to us about doing the work locally to make it all happen. And yesterday we also heard from Martha Zaragoza Diaz, who you're gonna hear from again, about the work in Sacramento to get the resources to support you in doing all of that work. Well, I wanna offer today another way that we can create a collective voice, and it's a really important way. I'm gonna call upon you to respond to a survey that Kabe is gonna be sending out to all participants shortly after the conference. That's gonna be asking you about what's actually going on in your area around the roadmap, what you think is needed. And the reason we need you to respond is twofold. One, it'll inform us in our policy development. It'll help us know what needs to happen. And secondly, advocates don't leave other advocates standing alone. And when we go up to speak for the needs of the children and the families and the, and the schools and bilingual education in the state, we need to know we're really legitimately standing there and speaking for thousands of other educators and saying the right thing, saying what really matters to you. It's guidance to us, it's credibility and support for us in that advocacy, and it's a way that our voices can come together with real energy and power. So when you receive that online survey, don't just put it into, you know, don't just delete it, don't just let it go by. We need to hear from you. Please respond. Let us know what we need to be doing, and together we can be the force that brings off this huge pivot in California that'll really deliver powerful bilingual education as that is the 21st century education our children need. Thank you.